Hey, what's up, guys? Node Investor here, bringing an update on these wrecked, bloody, red, broken charts of a market. Looking at Ethereum here on this daily chart, you can see yesterday, last couple weeks actually, was just the brutal smackdown. And Ethereum led the way down. The altcoin markets were completely trashed yesterday. It felt a lot like capitulation, but there are still no signs of the bulls showing up just yet. We will take a look at a few names to give some examples as to some of the patterns that I'm watching here near term, but no doubt about it. Just a very brutal market. You guys all saw it yesterday. There was uh, social media everywhere, the misery, the despair, and you know, it's kind of interesting now, you know, there was so many people saying buy the dip and hodl and all that good stuff. And I'm actually seeing the opposite now. There's, you know, now there's people calling for get out and watch out and this is the time to sell and look out below and it's going lower. And, you know, I very often tend to take a little bit of contrarian point of view. I'm not saying this is the low or the absolute bottom, but when I start to see so many bears coming out of the woodwork and just calling for the imminent collapse, new market lows, um, then I start to pay attention, right? After, after a big drop uh, for people to come out and start saying stuff like that usually tells me that we're hitting, we're hitting some sort of peak temporary in, intermediate term uh, peak bearish sentiment and there's generally a little bit of a counter reaction to that so we'll take a look at the short interest chart also climbing higher but ultimately it's going to depend on what bitcoin does it's very vulnerable here we'll take a look at that chart but looking at ethereum first you can see from may down to where we peaked at the lows yesterday i mean just in that time frame it's down 70 percent with the peak in the last month peak to peak coming down 50 percent so ethereum being the big cap name in the alts is why a lot of the dominance is growing in the btc chart if you look at the bitcoin chart obviously some of the big cap names like ethereum and ripple bitcoin cash have taken a big hit versus bitcoin and so you're seeing this dominance really spike up now 55 percent almost continues to climb here on the cryptocurrency market cap which now stands at sub 200 billion dollars right around 194 billion dollars as i record this but going back to ethereum um and, and i was short ethereum but honestly i was surprised at how weak it was and if you look at just how it's been over the last couple of uh, weeks here it just gave you a series of bear flags uh, one right after another you got that one there and you had another entry here and then yesterday was just kind of the, the big smackdown now i am in a neutral position now i don't have any shorts nor do i have any longs open at this point i'm paying attention to a couple of key things here on both ends of that spectrum but because of the fact that we have seen such a dramatic drop to the downside and the technicals remain extremely oversold and stretched to the downside i am very cautious about opening up some new shorts here at these levels just because you could very quickly see a spike higher yesterday certainly felt like capitulation the volume patterns the signatures were all there but we got to see some confirmation now but the risk of shorting here is now increased significantly especially on names like ethereum and some of these other names that have just taken such the big hit here you can see on the daily the rsi is still down here at that 17 mark and the volume is certainly spiking here at the lows which tends to mark a little bit of a pause or getting close to that level but looking at bitcoin here a couple of things i want to note here first off we did come all the way right back down to that almost 5800 level we can see yesterday here on a closing basis uh the lows here were around that 5850 or so prices in bitcoin came very close to that yesterday we saw that break below 6k and it was pretty quick but not as dramatic as i would have expected uh once it broke 6k it was literally within minutes it had gone down all the way to uh you know sub 5900 but then it very quickly bounced right back and so now it's up to the bulls to prove it right so what we've seen here is you can see on the four hour chart we saw the big the big drop here the spike lower on big volume and since then we've been bouncing but look at this bounce it's getting lower and lower volume as it bounces into that 10 ema you've seen some rally attempts that have so far just been sold into and so until the bulls can prove that uh, that was the low and start to show some upside confirmation 
Uh, I'm not going to take any longs here just yet. Now there's a big area of resistance that this price is bouncing right into. So this 6200 to 6300 zone is certainly going to be that resistance. Above that, then I think you'll start to see a little bit more short covering. But for now, you're seeing just a little bit of a bounce. That's all it is. There is a lower trend line to be watching here as this bounce happens. So if this lower trend line starts to break, right now that's right around, call it 6K basically. Uh, then that's going to look like a bear flag confirmation and you could see another spike to the downside. So something to keep an eye on both on the downside and the upside. There's a little bit of a battle happening here between the bulls and the bears, but right now the bears are still in control. Let's take a look at the shorts open interest here. So I'm going to pull up the daily chart here. You can see the shorts here on the daily chart continue to spike higher yesterday. A ton of new shorts opened up here at the lows, right below 6K. So you do have some shorts that are starting to be a little underwater here, starting to be trapped. And so that could also cause that shorts covering rally spike. But we are still not at the highs that we've seen here before. We saw the extreme highs here recently at the March, April lows. And so could this go higher? It could. But now this is becoming riskier for the shorts here because there's so many shorts really starting to pile in here and so that's going to be something to watch we've seen this happen before where prices hit these lows sentiments hit the lows and shorts continue to pile in here and it could drive prices lower as the selling continues but it's getting riskier and riskier on the short side to continue to do so at these levels at this point, what the shorts want to see is a break below 6K and some acceleration to the downside so that they can begin to cover here at these lows right around that 5,800 and below. Going back to Bitcoin here, another thing I do want to point out, let me zoom into the four hour chart here as we look at this most recent sell off here. I'm going to pull up the RSI and you can see here as the price continues lower, you are starting to see a little bit of a bullish divergence show up on this four hour chart. So you can see there's been three lower lows here in the last week, but you can see the RSI is starting to climb a little bit with each of those lows. And all that signifies is that the selling momentum is starting to wane a little bit. So not necessarily a buy signal in and of itself, but it's absolutely something that I keep an eye on here. And so just something to be cognizant of here as the prices continue lower. Another reason why uh, the short side is getting a little bit riskier here because this is starting to wane a little bit here as prices continue to dip here. Let's go back to the daily chart here. And so that's gonna be the level to be watching here is this most recent support attempt that came in yesterday. A bounce higher, it's gonna start to look like a little bit of a double bottom. And so you can start to see some more short covering at that point. Some of the alts are forming some interesting patterns to keep an eye on here. Now, first and foremost, this is a very bearish chart. So I'm not gonna say this is bullish by any means. I'm not saying this is the bottom, but we're coming to a little bit of a head here. And you can see going into the one hour chart here, there's an attempt to put in some support here at the lows, but technically this is still a little bit of a descending triangle. It's trying to break out right now. So something to keep an eye on here. I'm watching these trends and there's a lot of charts that are putting in similar patterns where they had that big low then they had the rally attempt and now they're trying to put in a same low or a higher low in some cases. And so now you want to start paying attention to see if they can continue that upside momentum. If they do, you're going to start to see a lot of double pattern type of formations show up and it's going to make for good counter trend rallies. That's really all I'm looking for at this point because there's going to be a lot of overhead resistance on any bounces and you're going to have just hurdle after hurdle on the way up especially following this big drawdown we saw. I mean, there's just gonna be so many levels of resistance to be watching along the way up for so many of these names. But from a percentage basis, these are gonna be some big moves if they start to bounce even anywhere near that. I mean, if you see, looking at NEO here uh, versus BTC, a nine to 20% move on the upside there, looking at the USDT pair, you can see that move up until resistance would be about a 16% move from current prices. And so there's certainly some open space here for a decent bounce if some of these names can get going. But right now, they're still living below the 10 EMA on the four hour. They were very stretched to the downside and all this feels like is a little bit of a pause before some more downside testing. And so we're gonna see that here play out very quickly here shortly in the next, within the next day, 
uh, as this moving average it really starts to pull back in and as this horizontal price support is starting to get squeezed down by this moving average and so that's going to be something to be watching here over the next couple of days there's several other alts from the usd pair that are forming very similar patterns and so they will likely all just move in tandem here so if they all start to break down uh, look out below for another leg but if we see some strong reaction in bitcoin to the upside in some short covering rally then you're likely going to see some pretty strong alt rallies here in the short term and so that's what i'm going to be watching out for taking a neutral stance at this point just kind of keeping an eye on the market we had a very big day to the downside yesterday uh, from a short side perspective it made for a strong trading day but uh, i think for now the market's taking a little bit of a pause and we'll see what the next move has for us but the, the sentiment is absolutely bearish out there um, i understand some of the long-term hodlers now at this point are just saying forget it it's over i don't care at this point whatever happens happens i'm already down 90 percent and some of the prices we were seeing were just outrageous i mean when i was looking at neo 14 dollars and nomise go at three dollars and even ethereum right at 250 um it was very tempting to start taking a look at some of those names here but i'm going to be patient i'm going to wait for some confirmation before i do any of that to buy the dip right now is not the approach that i'm going to be taking but uh, i will be paying attention because i do expect some bounces here at least in the near term so that's going to be it for today guys i appreciate you watching if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe and until next time take care everyone